guys, welcome to Stack in the Shelf Showcase Monday and <laughs> Showcase Sunday and Mailbox Monday for the weekend of March 28th. Um, this this coming week is going to be spring break week for us, so I will be on vacation. Um, but I am going to do this posting real quick because I did end up getting quite a few books for review and some from the library this week as well. Um, all right, I'm just going to get right into it. The first book I got to review was Hidden Huntress by Danielle Jensen. This is the second book in the Maldiction trilogy about a young woman who ends up in a troll kingdom. And I really like the first book in this series and I'm very eager to see how this book is. Um, this comes out on June 2nd and I got it to review through NetGalley, I believe. It was either Net NetGalley or Edelweiss. Anyways, I got to review through NetGalley, I think. And um, it's a young adult fantasy novel and I really enjoyed the first one so I'm eager to see how the second one is. Um, that series was actually dropped by the publisher and then picked up by another publisher. It was under like, uh, I believe it's the Strange Chemistry publisher that closed and it got moved over to their other like branch of publishing, but whatever. Um, okay, moving on, <laughs> too much information. Uh, the next book I got for review is Killing Pretty by Richard Cadry. This is the seventh book in the Sandman Slim series, which is a, um, Hello, my cat is, my other cat is helping. He's going to knock the camera over. Yeah. Um, he's going to, this is the seventh book in the Richard, in the Sandman Slim series by Richard Cadry. See, the cats totally just like distract me all the time. They always think I'm talking to them when I do these, but I'm not. I'm talking to you guys. And they just don't see anybody there. So they think I'm crazy. I don't know. Um, anyways, this is a very gritty, um, like, urban fantasy horror series about a half, a man who's, like, half uh, angel or whatever, Nephilim, who uh, ends up, I don't know, going to hell a lot and ruling hell for a while, and they've just been really fun reads. I like them a lot. Um, they have switched the covers of these books to kind of mimic, like, old campy movie posters, which kind of makes sense because the main character is very into old movies and Richard Cadry himself has a lot of obscure movie references throughout the books. So that kind of makes sense. I don't know that I'm a huge fan of it. It's kind of stark and like maybe too campy looking for me, but I'm excited to read it. I really have enjoyed pretty much every book in this series. Um, this comes out the end of July, so on July 28th. The I got two more books I received for review. The third one I received for review is The Shadow Revolution by Clay Griffith and Susan Griffith. Um, these are the two authors of the Vampire Empire series, which was a very good kind of post-apocalyptic, steampunk, epic, fantasy-ish type of series. <laughs> uh, this series by them, this is the first book in a new series by them called The Crowning Key series. Um, it's recommended for fans of the TV show Penny Dreadful, fans of Sherlock Holmes' work, and fans of the Iron Druid Chronicles by Kevin Hearn. Um, so it's supposed to be kind of a Victorian, paranormal, urban fantasy sort of series, it sounds like. Maybe a little bit of steampunk in there as well. I'm very excited to see that because I really like the Vampire Empire series. So I'm really excited to see what, what they come up with next. And I love reading this like alternate history type of urban fantasy thing. So I think it's going to be something that I'm going to really enjoy. That comes out June 2nd. So in a couple months. Um, the last book that I received for review comes out in May. And this is The Grace Keepers by Christy Logan. Oh, I should say I got this one through Edelweiss to review. And I got this one through NetGalley. Um, the last one I got to review is the Amazon Mind Program. As I said, it comes out in May. It's the Grace Keepers. And I know this one's been getting kind of mixed reviews, but I just couldn't resist when... I thought the cover was pretty, but the main thing was the synopsis. It's basically about a world, like a future Earth, where it's almost all covered by water. And there aren't many people living on land. And it follows two characters. One is named Kalanish. Okay. Kalanish is the first one. And she's a girl whose job it is to bury dead people in the ocean basically and she tends their grave and she lives alone on an island and this is what she does until she meets a guy named North who's a circus performer on the Excalibur which is a floating troupe of acrobats so it just sounds kind of quirky and it just says you know in a world divided between those inhabiting the mainland landlockers and those who float on the sea, damplings, loneliness has become a way of life for North and Kalanish until a sudden storm offshore brings change, chance to both their, change to both their lives. 
offering them a new understanding of the world they live in and the consequences of the past while restoring hope in an unexpected future. It's inspired by Scottish myths and fairy tales. So it just sounds really cool. It sounds like it's going to be one of those very descriptive, like mythological, somewhat quirky novels about some strange situation the characters. And I just read the synopsis and fell in love with it. So I'm really hoping that, you know, I'll like this. I think it'll be a neat read. I'm excited about it. All right, then I did get four books from the library. One of these is totally unrelated to anything I would normally get, but I do science outreach at my work, so I'm volunteering to go talk to an auditorium of high schoolers about engineering. Yeah, that's going to be fun, right? Mm -hmm. um, but one thing I'm going to do is if they're not listening, I'm going to threaten them with bad science jokes. So uh, I had to get a book of bad science jokes, the science jo the science zone. And some of these are pretty bad. Like, what did the slime say to the mold when they saw each other after a long time? You gruesome since I last saw you. Yeah, pretty bad. There's some better ones in here. But I'm going to make them randomly pick page numbers and tell them bad jokes, especially if their attention is waning. So hopefully that'll work out well and be kind of fun. Um, then the last three books I got from the library were typical books that I would read. Um, the first one is Krakens and Lies, which is the third book in the Menagerie series by Two and Carrie Sutherland. Um, I have really been liking this series. I actually like it a lot more than Two Sutherland's Wings of Fire series. Um, it's kind of about some kids who get involved in running a modern day refuge for mythological animals. So I think that'll be a fun read. I'm excited to read it. Um, the second third book I got from the library, is The Boy Who Lost Fairyland. And normally I just buy these because I really love Catherine Valente's um, writing style, but the last one in the series I was kind of like, eh, these aren't as good as they were when they started. So I'm still excited to read this and see if maybe improve. I always love the drawings in the beginning of these. They're really fantastic. Um, this just came out this month, so... February is kind of a big month for me. I get out, I get a lot of books. Well, I'm reading a lot of series that have books that come out in the month of February. I'm having a lot of trouble speaking. I don't know why. Um, so the last book I got from the library and the last book I got this week is Death Marked by Leah Cypress. Leo, I always want to say Cypress. Leah Cypress. C-Y-P-E-S-S. -S. There's no R in there. Leah Cypress. I think that's how you'd say it. Anyways, this is the sequel to Death Sworn. And it... The first book was a young adult, it's a young adult fantasy series, and it's about, like, a girl who gets sent to train with this group of assassins, and, you know, this is the second book of that, ends up, it's a duology, so this book does wrap up that series as well. So I'm just reading a whole bunch of books that, like, wrap up the series for, you know, the series. Um... Other than that, I am a little bit scattered. We're getting ready for vacation. As I had mentioned before, we are working on selling our house. So there is a big giveaway going on on the blog right now where I'm getting rid of all my art. So come check that out if you haven't and sign up. Um, I didn't even list them all out. I just took a picture of the giant stack of books. There's like 30 of them. So yay. Um, and we're trying to like finalize stuff on our new house and floor plans and all that. And we're trying to get done before we go on vacation. So I'm kind of all over the place right now, and you guys probably know how that is. Everybody's lives get a little bit crazy, right? So, yeah, fun stuff. Um, other than that, I hope there will not be a posting next week because I will be gone. Um, I hope you guys get lots of great books, and if you are having spring break or have had spring break or whatever, if your kids have spring break, I hope that you have a good time and get to spend some time with your family and um, relax a little bit. I know I'm really looking forward to going just somewhere else and having a change of scenery for a week so I think that'll be a good time not to mention we're going to do like some hiking and like ice caves and lava tubes and just I'm going to get to see some stuff I've never seen before so I'm very excited about that um and we've had awful weather here and so we had like a couple days of 70 and it's been awful we got snow twice this week yes snow and it's almost April and we're really sick of it it's not snow that sticks around and melts right away, but it's still kind of depressing when you wake up and there's snow on the ground and you're like, I want to go ride my bike outside and there's like snow everywhere. That sucks. All right. I'm done babbling. You guys have a great week and I will talk to you later. As you can see, the sun just came out. So maybe we're actually going to warm up at some point. That would be fantastic. All right. Talk to you guys later. Week after next. Have fun. Bye.